Hi, I'm back bright. As you know, my laptop, I'm having laptop worries, but no, seriously. Um, I've just come across something that I really need to share with you because I've been speaking to people and they've been saying, oh, you know, I'm not worried about traveling. I've got my British passport and all they're saying I'm a citizen and all of this. You need to know that whether you've got your British passport or not, that the border force officials are actually revoking British passports when you're coming through through the airport. Anyway, I'm going to read this out. This I'm not even going to try and put it in my own words. This is taken from the House of Commons Home Affairs Committee, the Windrush Generation. It's the sixth report of the session 2017 to 2019, and it's based on true experiences. This is page 25, um, paragraph 69. Problems at the border have not been limited to individuals with non-British passports. We raised with the, with the then Home Secretary a case in which an individual lawful, lawfully resident in the UK had been subject to a raid by immigration officers. She had subsequently obtained a British passport but was stopped and questioned at the border. Sabia Singh, Chief Executive of the Joint Council for the Welfare of Immigrants, told us he had seen cases of people with British passports who had tried to re-enter the UK following a routine trip abroad, but who were denied re-entry because they did not additionally carry their formal citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies passport with NTL stamp. That's no time limit stamp. While others had been told by border officials that they should not have been granted the British passport in the first place and had it revoked. This is not the first time concern has been raised with us about the approach of border force staff. In our previous inquiry, we heard that international students arriving at the border had been given incorrect stamps within some cases led them having to leave and re-enter at personal cost. People who have, this, I'm just going to read this last paragraph. People who have been granted a British passport reasonably expect that it allows them entry to the UK. It is right that the border is robustly protected, but that should not mean those with a right to be in the UK are prevented from crossing it. I mean, the more I read this stuff, the more, the more worried I'm begetting. This, this shit is scary. I mean, I was planning to go to Jamaica, you know, in the next few months. This is real. And even though I'm born here, I don't trust these people. I really do not trust them. And I cannot imagine as much as I love the hot sun and I love the mango and I love the soursop and I love all of that stuff. I would not want to be stuck in Jamaica. I really wouldn't without it being a part of a plan. If I'm planning to retire there, that's fine. I've sorted out my business. I've sold my house, you know, setting up myself in one of those new Stony Brook um, houses, you know, those gated properties or whatever they are. Then that's different. But can you imagine going there for a two week holiday and not being able to come back and you're British? Or, you know, whether you're British, I don't know if that just applied to a British national or a British subject. But the fact of the matter is, if they're saying that they shouldn't have been awarded a British passport in the first place, it could have been either. I mean, this stuff is scary. Really, really scary. Now, I don't know if it's the luck of the draw when you're going, who you're faced with. 
whether or not you're going to get somebody who's sensible and lenient or whether you're going to get somebody who's looking for an argument. I've been watching a video. This guy, he's been talking about his daughter. This is in Florida, though. Um, she, I don't know where she went, but she was coming back through Florida airport to come back to, to the United States. And they took all her stuff out of her, her bag flung it on the floor and told her to pick it up. When she challenged it, they said they would arrest her. She's 18 years old. And they had her in tears. Why? I mean, this is really, really, really scary. It's like we're going back into the 1807 or whenever it was. I mean, this is, this shit is scary. So either, you know, you're kind of stuck. They don't mind you leaving, but they don't want you to come back, regardless of where you are from. Like I'm always saying, as long as you have a skin this colour, they don't want you here. You could be, you could be legitimately in the country. And, and I was saying that about on an earlier video about how they're trying to reduce net migration. But you've got to do it bloody legally. You can't be taking away British passports, rejecting or revoking British passports just because you think that that person shouldn't have had it in the first place? How dare you? How arrogant. Honestly, that's all I'm going to say for now. I am up to here and I hope I don't have any more surprises before the night is out. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to be on this YouTube all night. Ah, 